An interesting story for you, uh, co-founding the company. Yeah. Uh, tell us about that, and then get into your presentation for us, please. Okay. I have a cute story. Can I start? You have a first? huge story. A then cute get story. into it. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's have it. So. <clears throat> Two years ago, we were taking a vacation in a beautiful resort in Southern California and a gorgeous bathroom, nice jacuzzi tub. So I was just about to soaking and relax. And then I heard this noise where the door get open and my seven-year-old son barging and says, ew, mom, lock the door. And I, and I was like, okay. So I tiptoe and try to get to the door and, and close it and try to lock it and only to found there's no lock on this huge, beautiful walnut barn door. There was no lock. And so the rest of the story is, is I couldn't relax anymore because we are a lock manufacturer, um, Inox. We are a decorative premium uh, lock manufacturer and I spend the rest of my three months wondering why that five-star resort does not put a lock on the barn door and only to found out that there wasn't one available in the marketplace. There's just simply no locks available. So then we spent about 18 months actually developed this barn door lock that actually integrated into your jam so you don't see the locking mechanism and it give you the privacy when you, the lock, when the barn door actually closes, you can simply turn that thumb turn and that will lock, that will push that deadbolt out and then lock into the barn door. So it's a reverse thinking. Instead of putting your lock on the door, you're putting the lock in the gym and the strike is on the lock. So that gives you the privacy you wanted. And it also provides a safety. So if somebody faint in there or your kid lock themselves in there, you can easily push through that little tiny ping on the door with a key or something very simple, like a little screwdriver or something, and push it through, and that will release the lock. So that gives you the emergency egress, what we call it. Um, we have um, six different designs as far as the trims. Um, sorry, I should have presented this as I was talking about it. But as you can see, the uh, locking and unlocking is as simple as just turning the thumb turn. And that little ping there, you can push it through the hole and it releases the lock. We have six different designer finishes in stock. We also have different escutcheons, also thumb turns that are designed with ADA compliances, American Disability Act. So please come to visit our booth at 5631, which is literally two doors just down from this aisle. And uh, you will see a lot of beautiful door hardware locks that are engineered beautifully, and that's really what Inox is about. Thank you. Thank you, Chen Yen. The only thing more uncomfortable than a story about someone walking in on someone in the bathroom is a story up on stage about someone walking in on someone in the bathroom. That's hey, all right, though. Well, there's the innovation, right? That's <laughs> the beginning of something we need, a solution, and that's what we're trying to do. It brings a whole new meeting to I came up with the idea <laughs> when I right. was in the bathroom. Yes. All right, anyway, enough of that. Um, questions from you guys. Who's got any questions for Chen Yen here? Hands up, one right down here. Is this readily available in Canada? Yes. Yeah. Simple question, simple answer. My question is, would you like the name of a hotel that needs those? <laughs> I, I wouldn't I wouldn't embarrass them but we have we've got several big hotel hospitality projects that already spec us now in there because that is a fantastic solution yes. my daughter visited me down here too <laughs> oh. thank you okay So if the lock is out like that and the door happens to hit the lock, is there like a little metal plate right there that would protect so the door doesn't end up getting like damaged from that lock being out? The, that's a very good question. The lock is out um, that protrude like um, how that a picture. little bit out, yes. 
Actually, that's a very good question. I'll definitely bring it to our engineers and said you asked that question. So at this moment, there isn't something to prevent it, but as the deadbolt, really easy to get pushed back in. So what I would think is it most likely will bounce back without really damaging the door. Um, these track systems usually have a stop that when the door passes and goes back, it sets certain points. But yes, if somebody accidentally lock open it, just like your deadbolt at home, right. if it's in a protruded position, you right. somebody slammed the door, it could bump right. into that. I was just wondering if there was a little like metal plate on the side then that would go. Oh. You could put that on the edge of your door, yes, like a corner piece. Yes, very right, good we'll idea. Do, we will do one more question. Anybody? Hands up anywhere? There's one right back here. Is that something, if there's already a door there, that would be able to be added after? Yes. It's a prep where you can cut um, on the jam okay. um, a standard door prep that uh, the, either your framer or a carpenter could come in and, and open it. We have a full instruction uh, sheets online telling um, the installers whether it's uh, how to prep a drywall condition if there's no trims or if it's a wood trim cased door openings and how to prep that. So it is definitely doable if you already have it framed and there's no lock. Yes, absolutely. All right, thank you. The, uh, Chen Yen said it herself. A very good question. Maybe the stumper. So the t-shirt goes to the question about the <laughs> door protection. I'm very going to rudely throw it to you. Will you pass this behind? Oh, never. Debbie's going to help me out. Terrific. Big round of applause for Chen Yen, everybody. Thank you very Thank much. You.